you know, it's it's the hottest thing. Patents these days, they're they're just awesome. So let's talk about them right at the top of the show. Google and Samsung have entered into a patent cross licensing deal. This covers both existing patents that they have, as well as any patents that are filed over the course of the next ten years. The extent of that coverage isn't necessarily known, but the public statement did mention that the deal covers many product categories and not just mobile. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, Samsung, Google share Google patent portfolio. On one hand, on one hand, patent protection in the mobile space, you know, obviously is very important. We keep kind of seeing these patent uh, things come up time and time again, thanks to you know patent trolls like uh, Rockstar and entities of that sort. On the other hand, making the biggies in the industry and and Google and Samsung are very big in the in the Android industry, obviously, uh, even bigger might limit the capabilities of newcomers to the market that don't have that kind of ac- you know access to the piece of the pie. What do you guys think about this, uh, Taylor? We'll we'll, st- we'll start with you. You know, I, I thought this was a pretty uh, significant announcement. Um, you know, Google and Samsung, um, you know, they, they, they both have kind of uh, helped each other get to the position where they're at right now. Uh, but there's kind of been this narrative growing over the last year that, uh, you know, Google and Samsung are eventually going to, you know, go to war with each other. Kind of mm-hmm. how Apple Apple and Google used to be buddy-buddy and then, uh, then they went to the courts. Um, so yeah, I kind of see this, you know, it's kind of like a truce between these two companies. Um, you know, I, th- I think it's good for consumers, you know, hopefully, um, you know, less lawsuits, <laughs> less, uh, blog posts about patents and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I kind of, I mean, this kind of surprised me. I mean, I, I kind of felt like, you know, Sam, Samsung's been talking more and more about their, their ties in operating system and um you know there's all these rumors that devices are coming out this year so uh to see them kind of sign this cross licensing agreement i think it's a really big deal um you know how how is that going to affect all of the other smaller players i I don't really know i think uh you know this is more of kind of a defensive move i don't i don't really see them using these patents to go after these other companies um so I kind of think like as long as you're supporting Google or you're supporting Android and you're, you know, you're in the circle, you're in the family, um, you know, this is this is a move I think that's going to protect them from, you know, both Apple and then all the other patent trolls that are floating around out there. Yeah, right. Well, I, my, my first thing when I thought about this was how much of this is about Google and Samsung coming together to team up versus Google and Samsung protecting themselves and teaming up versus Apple? Yeah. You know, because you've got the history of Apple and Samsung, you know, not really getting along and that whole big thing. And so Samsung and Google kind of buddying up going, OK, well, if we're on the same basis and we can cross license our patents and work with each other. Then if that happens again, then we're kind of a collective unit that can work against it. I think it's much more about them reacting and setting themselves up against Apple and their patents. Mm-hmm. That's just me. I'm not a patent expert, though. So. Yeah, that that definitely occurred to me, too. It did feel like them just kind of teaming up. Um, but the thing that strikes me about this is that it, not only does this cover existing patents, but patents for the next 10, ten years. 10 years, I That's know. Crazy. 10 years is an eternity, particularly in the mobile space, right? So this is Google and Samsung saying, like, we're, like, we're both going to be innovating on, on, on e- either side, right? It, it, let's, let's focus on mobile just for the sake of the show. And we're going to cross-license with one another. I mean, that's a, that's, a big, <laughs> that's a big deal. 10 years is a really long time. And um, to say, if you, you know, future patents. Now, I don't know if it's all future patents, if it's like on a case-by-case basis or what. But it feels like this is definitely a good thing for consumers because it means that when Samsung Samsung comes up with a little UI thing or UX thing or a little bit of technology. It doesn't mean that others can't have it. We only have to root in order to install the thing. It means that they can share and they can innovate and they can spur one another on and collaborate and cooperate versus versus not, which is which is and it's just a huge marketing um, win, I think, for developers, particularly developers in the open source world, which Android developers are, who, who are sick and tired of, of patent wars and just hate the whole thing. You know, this makes Samsung and Google you know, look really good, look like they want to cooperate and collaborate and innovate versus sue one another. Yeah, I was, I was going to say it, it, it does make a step towards innovation in the, in, the, in, the, in the market between these two, where if Samsung does something, then they kind of are already working with Google. They can share in it. They can collectively make the platform better. But, you know, Taylor made a great point, though. If I'm, you know, young startup 
Android platform phone company that hasn't started yet, can I innovate? Or do I just have this big two now that I need to worry about uh, patent threats from? Yeah, and I and I yeah. also kind of wonder if if you know who else ends up in in this fold. If you know Google and Samsung, that's really big. Uh, Google has reached out to help HTC. If you remember, a couple of years ago, they had it kind of an issue, uh, a patent squabble with Apple. I mean, who hasn't had a patent squabble with Apple? But um, you, don't, you don't want to hear about my patent squabble with Apple, <laughs> Ron. You had a yeah, you had one with Apple. That I'm was still, that I'm was still scary. Paying the, I'm still paying the legal fees for that one. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. I don't want you to get in any more trouble. But um, Google is obviously interested in helping out its partners because that's that's good for. Um, for the platform in general. So is this Samsung also making a deal with Motorola then? Because, you know, this this is where it kind of gets murky, at least in my head, where Motorola is not Google. So, you know, they are not one in the same, but they kind of are. And so I don't know how this affects Motorola. And Motorola and Samsung are, in fact, direct competitors. So it's kind of an interesting, blurry field. I don't know the answer to that, but... Yeah, the Motorola point is actually a really good one. I had, that hadn't occurred to me. L- let's be clear: Motorola is a Google company. It's right. Google, right? Mm-hmm. So this just should this does extend to Motorola, which which makes it seem like even this even more kind of incredible yeah. that Samsung agreed to that. Ten uh, years. That, that, that these companies all were able to agree with agree yeah. to this, particularly for ten years. Ten yeah. years. I'm more, I'm more surprised by the announcement that Motorola is making tomorrow for the new Motorola Note. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Where did you hear this? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm some no, Russian blogger. Right. I, I mean, where, where, is, where does the line end? You know, where, mm-hmm. where, where are the boundaries on these patents go and how does Motorola play into it? So mm-hmm. uh, fascinating. You know, I also wonder if, if this is kind of a signal for, you know, some future collaboration on, on some more devices. You know, it's, it's kind of been a while since they've done anything together. You know, they, they did the... I guess the Nexus devices a couple of years ago, and I know Samsung's done a, a Chromebook and some other things, but, um, you know, I wonder if they're going to continue to launch new devices, uh, whether that's, you know, the rumored glasses or or other wearables or whatever else is down down the pipeline. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm really curious what, what's going to happen because, you know, as much as, uh, you know, we see them say they're buddy-buddy in public and now, now they have this... Uh, legal agreement, you know, that they're not going to sue the pants off each other. But, I mean, they're still, you know, they still are becoming competitors. You know, we've always looked at Google as a software company, but with the acquisition of Motorola and Nest and all these other things, I mean, they are increasingly getting into the hardware they space. They are firmly in the hardware um, space, yeah. Oh, they are absolutely firmly. a consumer, a consumer yeah. electronics company now. They are not just a software company, yeah. Whereas Samsung, I mean, they, they've always been a hardware company, but they are more and more and more uh, getting into that software space, you know, not not mm-hmm. just developing their own operating system through through Tizen, but uh, really focusing on their own. They have their own app store on all the Galaxy phones, and uh, I mean, if if you look at a Galaxy phone, they they have a a companion, not a companion, but like a duplicate app of everything that Google does. Oh yeah. Um, so Samsung is well prepared, uh, you know, no, to uh, I, don't, I don't know what they're going to do, but. Um, I mean, they have definitely been working on on the software, content services, all that stuff. The t- the ties in aspect too is very interesting in regards to this because if they are sharing their patents, then you know, and ties in, let's say, is Samsung's kind of answer to like Samsung's internal Android, like trying to make their own operating system. They can still use those patents on Tizen, and Tizen against yeah, Google. Yeah. <laughs> Brain explodes. <laughs> interesting. So, yeah, very, very interesting. It'll be interesting to see exactly how those patents are. 